Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome back to chapter 4 of Life is Strange. I've just had to restart my recording because I was over here having a conversation with Brooke and she broke it. So I'm going to try that again in a minute. Um, right now, Chloe's over there talking to Justin. I am basically snooping to find out more information. Can I talk to you? No, you are a person without a name or an identity. Um... Can I talk to Zachary? No, I can't. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not um, the last. One thing I have done, I would like to say, is I've taken a photograph of it. Oh, it's going to let me take a photograph of it again anyway. Um, but I took a photograph of this, um, which is one of the photos in... One photo. For posterity. In the album that we need, one of the optional ones. Um, literally, that's all I did, was take that photo, try and speak to Brooke, and... She broke my game. That's so, so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive Yeah, she basically kept saying that. Um, she's not happy about that. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Nope. Hey Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Now, if I ask to play with her drone, she's just gonna say, oh, but you're going to ape with Warren, so you don't have time to play with my drone. And if I ask about Nathan, I don't really know what she says because that's the one that broke me last time. So I'm going to ask about the whales. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Burn. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Okay, so she's not going to have that conversation with me. Now I think it's probably safe to talk about Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Uh-huh. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. Ooh. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Wow. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. You are so... Pickly. Pickly? Prickly. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Oh. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Hi, drone. I was enjoying eavesdropping into that conversation. Why'd you have to ruin it? Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. You were talking about Kate. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Uh, are you just gonna keep talking about that? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. <laughs> I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think everybody else is kind of on the sort of... Thing with I it. think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. I heard. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Yeah, Unless but... you know something I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about time travel with her, really? No. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. What? Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't know what any of what you just said meant. 
I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. <laughs> but to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Uh... I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? Yep, I do. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Nope. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine <laughs> Caulfield? Oh, dear. You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Yeah. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Who needs surveillance? I am surveillance. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. True that. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yeah, she has a point actually. I never thought about it like that. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Why does <clears throat> why does everybody always kind of think, oh, you and Warren? I feel like the sky. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I don't really understand Samuel. He's a strange one. But he, he obviously means no harm. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Okay, I am not talking to everybody just to have them stoke my ego. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Poor thing. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Like I said, he's he's an unusual one. He's an oddball, but he means well. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. I don't blame you. So, what do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Well, okay. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian. Not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. You're sweet. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? <laughs> he talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. That makes no sense. What? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras interesting I think you have better vision than both of us <laughs> no max I, I just look at everything from a different angle i never thought about it like that i definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in arcadia bay oh many do these poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them 
how can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. That's awful. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh. Hello. That explains why they're so friendly. Oh, you stopped talking to me. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I wasn't finished. I definitely have questions about- Yeah. Oh. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Oh, that's what that thing is. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. You're not the only one, Samuel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. If she's still- well, I was about to say if she's still alive. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. You're a very intuitive dude. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. I bet. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. She's not even in it. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Okay, so why lure? Get that food in your belly. Here, squizzle squazzle. Is there a point to this? Am I? Okay. I d oh! Oh, that's cute. Ooh! Oh, the two little tails that are in a heart shape. That's sweet. Must be that one. I'm gonna check. Yeah. So now we're looking for footprints. I don't know. Samuel misses his Okay, I don't expect to see any footprints around here, but I'm going to have a quick look. Building permit. Oh! Accessibility upgrades. Ah, so if I'd have taken the money... Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Yeah, that wouldn't be a thing. What's this? Alyssa, why you play hard to get when you already hide your button? That totally looks like a troll face. Where is Alyssa? She's not out here. Justin, it's 
been so long since I've seen you. Yeah, you two keep talking. I have one more person to talk to. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically Aww. suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Okay, Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. Yeah. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Oh, okay. Have that you was ever easy. talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. You're not the only one. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Yeah. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Aww. No, you should go. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Yeah. Okay, Daniel. If you had such a nice conversation with Brooke, maybe that's, you know, the beginnings of something. You're... Apparently you don't have an identity either. Can we... Can we move on now? coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Very good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Didn't Kate say she would find out for us? Although, how she's gonna find out, I don't know. Uh, Evan. Oh. Oh! Why is everybody calling me Supermax and Batmax? I have to admit, this does remind me quite a lot of Groundhog Day. The thing where it sort of... Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. By the end of the film, the, um, you basically got Bill Murray running around doing everything for everyone. And having, like, the perfect day. Eavesdropping. Uh, so that's 10, that's 105, that's 106. So I'm guessing he's down that way. But let's have a peek. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? I'm assuming so. Ah, boys. Oh, what's that? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. They look more like blurry Bigfoot footprints, but okay. Sweet! Aww. Wait, is that Daniel's room? <sighs> Jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Yeah, that was a really nice one. Well, that is a really nice one. 
Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Nah. Well, that was more of a girl thing. This is more of a guy thing. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Well, that's Nathan's room. That's our destination. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. I was going to make a guess at Justin, but, you know. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Cool. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too Aww. dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. No, that's he'll laugh. That's pretty right? cute. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Yeah. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Yeah. It's very loud in here. Oh, you Bigfoots. Okay. Running out of things to look at. This can only be Nathan's room. Of course, the main event. Now this time we really are breaking and entering, aren't we? Although I suppose you could say we broke into the principal's office since we didn't have a key then either. Uh what? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. This room is creepy. Uh Yeah. So Joyce knows that we got up to dirty things in Blackwell Academy. Whoops. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Hmm. At least it shows there are some tender moments between that Nathan and his. The camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Yeah. As I was saying about this, at least that shows that there are some tender moments between daddy and son. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That is just creepy. I mean, what? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Wait, what what prescription? Welcome to the boys' dorm. Okay. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Oh. Oh, okay, so the protector screen showing his computer. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Yeah. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate That's you. Kate's video? And why Kate will get justice. Why has he even still got that there? Considering everything. Just, nah. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour. Um, that's quite a creepy thing. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as my father did. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. But you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema ask, along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. That's weird. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yeah. I love Deb, but I'm in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. The only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. Yeah. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps. Wow, she really has fallen far from the tree. <laughs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. 
This is strong stuff. Oh, is that what that was on about? The prescription tag on the floor? Um, yeah, he really does not need diet pills. What's that all about? Weird. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... What, did it say it was a gift? Well, at least we know it's probably his own gun as opposed to one he's stolen from somewhere. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah. These films all have a dark pattern. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Well, everyone kind of has to, otherwise the world would be dull. Nathan Forget Prescott. I looked. All American Forget team. I looked. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. Yeah. That wasn't bad. It's so damn creepy, but... Uh... The guy has his own style. Although I was about to say, like, yeah, that isn't bad. That is quite a nice shot, creepy dead bird. What? You are not right in the head, dude. That That's Damn not what I was trying head. to look at. I was trying to look at this. I don't think one book can die Oh, Dr. Off. Bill. He was the one mentioned in that email a minute ago. Okay, so what is he, the strange... That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan dropped her. Dr. Friends? Oh, so that was in this room. He has more pills on the bed stand. The whale songs. Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Although considering everything else he's got going on in this room, I just find that even more creepy. That is so Chloe. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ugh, I can't look at that. The look in her eyes gives me chills. That's just wrong. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. I do think on Chloe's thing, though, it's a good thing she got out when she did. It could have been a lot worse. So wait, what was I supposed to be looking for? Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. What's that? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Somebody's been moving their sofa. Ah. Okay, there's definite. Let's find out what you're hiding. Yeah. Oh, yes, little phone. You are mine now. Sneaky, sneaky. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah, but I'm also gonna fix the door and the fire extinguisher. No, no, I need to. I need to keep an eye on that. I need to know how far I'm going back. Okay, so yeah, I played with the radio. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I did nothing. You saw nothing. Nothing was done. Look what I found. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and... Very. Creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Um. What are you doing in my dorm? Awkward. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Ooh. Max. Warren. I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Dude. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. Oh, this just gets worse. Get off me, bro! Oh. Warren, what are you doing? He's gonna kill you! Ah, oh. I want to stay out of it just to see what happens, but I'm gonna rewind. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Okay. Dude! Please. <laughs> Please stop! He's down. 
Hey, come on. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Oh, she took his gun. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Nah. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got... Yeah, no, no. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Uh, why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked! He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Um, Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. I'm really glad you guys can't see my face right now. That... Dude. I rewound that for a reason. Although it was satisfying to see him crying. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Oh, he's so cute. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. <laughs> he really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Oh. Will he even answer you? If only you knew, Chloe. If only you Frank saw what I just did. Ugh. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Yeesh. I don't I don't do I don't do violence. At all. That that nah. Even like well, don't get me wrong. I do like dumb computer graphic violence. I don't have a problem with I don't even have a problem with sort of film gore and I'd rather see somebody be chopped in half by a saw blade than beat in the face like that. Something about that just unsettles me. You know? I know that makes no sense. God. I hate seeing those poor whales. Is it like you that? drawing those Illuminati triangles everywhere? I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot <laughs> Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About Can't time. really argue with her logic, so I guess. To hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Nope. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll.
Okay. So, I think we're pretty much out of time for this episode, but there's one more thing I want to do. I don't want to go in and talk to Frank, but I do want to have a quick poke around here for any photo opportunities. I can't see that fan thing. What is this? And I say fan thing, we don't have those in the UK. I don't know what it is. Don't give me the forest seem quiet. Stress no in the sign comments. Of life. Or deer. <sighs> yeah. No sign of much. God, those whales are so depressing. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Oh. It didn't start down here. It started up there, didn't it? Oh, the hiking trail to the lighthouse. That's what that means. I'm, I'm with it. No parking on the beach. No worries, sign. <sighs> They just look sad. Is there one I can photograph? Is that... Is that a thing? Oh, here we go. I may not know quantum speak, but... There has to be an explanation. It just gives me chills looking at them. It's just so sad. And wrong in so many ways but yeah um, I'm stuck it blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate yeah reality. you went down there didn't you good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us why you're not swimming okay Classy. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Not inside the van? Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Okay. So as I already said, I'm not going to roll straight on with this. Um... <gasps> Wait, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing I have to check. Is my smiley face still on the side? It totally is. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. I think it's funny. It amuses me. Anyway. So I'm not going to go in there right now. This is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give that like button some love. And I'll be back with more Life is Strange very soon. Bye.